Well, I just found out the local suppliers have had so many issues and problems with these Esau Rebels that they're not carrying them anymore. So she said straight up the Rebels in particular have just been a disaster. Who's that 215 Rebel? It broke on me today. The lead did anyhow. Hate those velocity style leads. Went ahead and picked up just a regular 250 amp Tweco lead to put on it. That velocity style with the uh, the nozzle holding the tip on. This is what happened to this. It just broke. Used it all day yesterday. Worked fine. No problem. I don't keep it in the back of the truck either. I keep it in the, on the seat. Pulled it out today to use it. and That's flopping around like a wet noodle. I don't know how the hell that gets broke sitting on the back seat of the truck. But one of them things. There's several things that I haven't been happy with on this, on this Rebel myself. This is the 215 like I said. This came apart right away. Not a huge deal. but And this happened to the cord right away too that you plug it into. That pulled out of there. That kind of bummed me out. That sucks. And the cord's loose where it goes into the machine now, too, I noticed yesterday. Something's... I tried to tighten that up. I'll have to pull the cover or something, see if there's a nut on the other side. I feel some threads. Something's came apart, though. And then here back in the spring, the menu knob quit working. And I just, I called ESOB, they wouldn't sell me parts. The, the knob is actually part of the PC board in here, which I thought was kind of lame. You can't just buy the knob. So, and then right away they were like, oh, the jam nuts came loose on the knob, which told me they'd had a lot of other people call and ask about it. But that wasn't the issue with this. So I called the local supplier that's not carrying them anymore. This was in the spring. And they were like, yeah, bring it on down. Through the next couple of weeks, we'll get it fixed. And I'm thinking, shit, couple of weeks, man. What do you do in the meanwhile, you know? You can't give up your welder for a couple weeks. So, several things I haven't been happy with. I finally, one day, this just wouldn't work. It was stuck on on gas wire or uh, flux core wire. You could push it and didn't do nothing, turn it, and it didn't do nothing. One day, I just kind of got pissed at it and had my knuckle and just smacked it with my knuckle. And it's worked ever since for whatever reason. I guess that was the magic bump or something. So it started working again, but I definitely, I got three of them now. I definitely wouldn't buy another one. As a matter of fact, I got a Miller lined up that somebody was wheeling. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and just not happy with any of these. But I figured I'd pass that on. The local suppliers aren't wheeling them anymore. Parts are going to start getting harder and harder to come by. I don't know how they expect you to fix it because ESOB won't send you, the individual, the part. It's got to go through a repair shop or, a, or you know, a regular welding service shop like air gas or general air so not good bad bongos so just wanted to pass that on anybody else looking to get into one like i said i got three of them i'm not going to be able to get parts for nothing or i don't know how i'm going to repair them from there because they won't sell you the parts so but anyhow everybody be safe